What's up, everyone? So if you have ever had an app idea sitting in the back of your mind, but you didn't have the time, money, or a team to build it, that's exactly the problem Base44 is trying to solve. It's an AI-powered tool that takes a simple description and turns it into a working app. No coding and no developers needed. I've been using it for things like client portals and internal dashboards, and it's honestly one of the easiest ways I've found to go from a thought to something you can actually use. So right now, I'm gonna show you how Base44 works what it does really well, where it could be better, and whether it's the right fit if you're looking to build without writing any code. Let's jump in. So one of the first things that makes Base44 stand out is just how much it tries to handle for you. It's not just a visual editor or a backend builder, it does it all. You've got your UI, your database, authentication, and hosting, it's all bundled together, which means you don't need to set up anything separately or connect it to other tools. And the way you actually build apps here is pretty different too. Instead of clicking through menus or piecing things together manually, you just describe your idea in plain English, like, I want to build a family chore scheduler, or make a trip planning app with a clean modern look. You can even add a design style like clay morphism or glass morphism, and it'll style the whole app for you automatically. What's nice is that the platform tries to keep things really beginner friendly. It gives you a bunch of starting templates and even has a little idea library with pre-written prompts sorted by category. So if you need a document for finance or productivity, something like task management flow or Tuesday.com, Base44 has you covered. And behind the scenes, it's using either Chat GPT-5, Claude Sonnet 4.5, or Gemini 2.5 Pro, depending on what you're building. But you can actually switch that yourself if you want to try a different model, which is a nice little touch. So from the outside, it's meant to be a super easy way to go from idea to working app without needing to know how to code or manage a bunch of different services. Now using Base44 isn't just easier, it's also a lot faster. I didn't have to mess with deployment or setting up databases. Instead, I could just focus on the important stuff, what screens to include, what users should be able to do, and what happens when they click around. That makes it great if you're trying to just get something up quickly, like a proof of concept or an internal tool. You could spend your time shaping how it works instead of fighting with the setup. Now that said, it's not a one-click magic show. You still need to know what you want and be able to explain it clearly. The AI does miss the mark sometimes, and when it does, you're the one steering it back on track. The clearer you are, not just about the features, but how they should actually work, the better the results. And once you get the hang of it, you start to see just how much potential is actually here. So if you're comfortable thinking about workflows and user behavior, even if you're not technical, Base44 gives you a way to bring ideas to life faster and with way less friction than working through a development team. So to test things out, I used one of the built-in prompts to make a chore scheduler app. I just picked it from the home management category and added clay morphism for the design style. From there, Base44 did the rest. You'll see a little build log on the side showing the steps as they happen, stuff like creating routes, generating the scheme, and adding simple data. What's cool is that you can chat with the AI while it's building. There's a discuss mode where you can ask things like, can we tweak how the chores are assigned? And it will adjust the logic for you on the spot. The layout is simple, chat on the left, live preview on the right. And for this app, it gave me a dashboard with a weekly calendar and even an auto assign button to spread out the chores evenly. Now, everything mostly worked, but I did run into a couple small problems with the sample data not always sticking. So, you know, just something to be aware of. All right, let's talk about pricing. Base44 uses a credit system. You get message credits for prompts and integration credits for things like database calls or API requests. The free plan gives you 25 message credits and 100 integration credits each month, which is enough to play around and build a small test app or two. Just know these credits run out pretty quickly. And if your prompt isn't clear or the AI doesn't quite get what you mean, you still get charged. So be careful with how you phrase things. Being specific usually leads to better results anyway, but it can be frustrating when you're still learning the tool. And once you run out, you can't just top up. You'll need to move to a paid plan. The entry level starter plan is $20 a month or $16 if you pay yearly. That gives you 100 message credits and 2,000 integration credits, which is plenty to build something real like a client portal or a personal tool. Then there's the builder plan at 50 bucks a month, $40 annually, which adds GitHub integration and a free domain for the first year. Now above that, you've got Pro at 100 bucks and Elite at 200 bucks, 
which are more geared towards teams that need a lot of volume and support. Now, personally, I ran through the free plan in a single day. Once I upgraded to the starter plan, though, it felt much smoother. I had enough room to at least test different flows, tweak the logic, and actually get an app into a usable place without constantly worrying about credits. The nice part is that every plan includes the same core features. You're not unlocking new tools, just giving yourself more breathing room to build. Now, if you want to try out Base44, you can use the affiliate link below. It doesn't cost you anything extra, and we might earn a small commission, which helps out the channel. And sometimes we do have special deals that you wouldn't get if you went directly through their website. So one of the biggest perks of using Base44 is that everything's already set up for you. You don't have to deal with databases, hosting, or authentication. It's all built in and ready to go. That alone makes it way easier to go from idea to working app. And the fact that everything lives all in one place, dashboard, hosting, just makes the whole entire experience feel a little more streamlined. It's especially helpful if you're working solo or just trying to get a project off the ground quickly. Base44 is honestly one of the easiest ways I've seen to build a full stack app without needing to write code or manage any outside tools. The visual editor is great for making quick tweaks after the app is generated. Things like changing colors, layout, or text are all very straightforward. And since it's backed by Wix, there's clearly an active roadmap behind it. This isn't just some flash in the pan builder. For small projects or MVPs, it can actually end up costing less since you're not paying for things like supper base hosting or external authentication. Now, on the flip side, those free credits burn out really fast. So if you're just exploring or testing ideas, that's something to watch, especially if you're using the free plan. Also, since the database is all built in, migrating later could be tricky. Now, when comparing Base44 to a competitor like Lovable, the first thing that you're going to notice is how much easier Base44 makes the setup. Everything's already built in, your backend, your AI, and styling, so you're not jumping between tools just to get a basic app working. With Lovable, it's more modular, which you know can be great if you want that flexibility, but it does mean that there's more steps up front to connect things like Superbase or an external AI. So if you're looking for a smoother experience and something that just works out of the box, Base44 is definitely the simpler choice. It's a better fit for beginners or really anyone who wants to get something functional without dealing with a bunch of setup. Lovable is a solid option for developers who want more control, especially when it comes to custom AI models or just exporting code. And in terms of pricing, Base44 keeps things pretty straightforward with separate credits for messaging and integrations, which makes it easier to plan for. Lovable charges based on task difficulty, so costs can vary depending on what you're building. And while Lovable does offer GitHub integration, Base44's all-in-one structure is often easier to manage if you're staying within the platform. So bottom line, Base44 doesn't feel like your typical no-code tool. You're not buried in menus. You just describe what you want and it builds from there. If you already think in terms of how apps should work, switching from code to plain language feels pretty natural. It's not built to replace a full dev team, but for MVPs, dashboards, or just internal tools, it's one of the fastest ways to go from idea to working product. That wraps up today's video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, then please like and subscribe to see more videos just like this. And again, if you're thinking about trying it out, there's an affiliate link down below with their current best deals available. So feel free to check that out if you're interested. Also, if you are interested in working with us or sponsoring a future video, just reach out using the email in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below and I'll get back to you as fast as I can. Finally, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.